Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib. Please welcome to my new tutorial. Today I am going to start a new tutorial series on Arduino Uno. This is Arduino Uno R3. If uh, I go to the official website of Arduino, this is the web address. So this is the open source electronic platform for hardware and software. Now I am going to explain the pin layout of Arduino Uno R3. This is the USB port of this board. Through this board, we connect Arduino to our computer for two purposes. By this port, we can supply the power through USB to the board from the computer or laptop. And by this port, we can connect to our laptop and upload our program from Arduino ID to this Arduino board. And also, we can give power supply through obviously USB cable to the board and there is another power supply unit this is the DC power supply unit for Arduino board usually it is recommended that to give power supply from 7 volts to 12 volts and there is another power pin here so here we can see V in we can give power to this board through this V in pin from 7 volt to 12 volt but it is advisable to give power by 9 volt and here is the analog pin inputs from A0 to A5 to read the analog input from different devices like sensors or other devices and here is the another pin layout this is called the digital pins it starts from 0 to 13 and we can get the PWM that means pulse with modulation feature from few pins like these three, three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. These six pins will give you the PWM features. And here is the RX pin and TX pin, which labeled here as zero and one. So RX and TX is the data receive and transmission with this board, Arduino Uno board. TX is the data transmission and RX is the data receive. Uh, from the board and into the board and here we can get to ground from this power pin and one ground is here just after the 13 number pin of digital in input and output and also we can get 5 volt regulated power supply and 3.3 volt regulate, regulated power supply these are called the onboard power supply we can get the power supply from here Okay, this is all about the Arduino power board. One thing I should, I forgot to tell. That is here, there is a button reset uh, button. We can reset the board by pressing this button. Here is some LED for power LED. And uh, here two LEDs are here. And these LEDs blinks out when the TX and RX operates. And here one LED for 13 number pin. This is called the load LED or built-in LED. So I explained about the Arduino Uno R3 board and its pin layout. Now I am going to Arduino official website to install the Arduino ID. So we need to install Arduino ID to communicate with our Arduino board to our computer. You need to go to software and here is the download feature of Arduino. Here are different installers available for different platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So for my case, I installed Windows installer, and you can install it whatever you like. And the latest version is 
so you can download the installer and install it and it is very easy only by following some steps you can install it so for my case i installed it and this is here and this is the id here we can open the new file for our project and also we have some examples that we will follow a bit later and here some important thing is we must configure when we will connect our arduino with computer then we must check the board information and board information will come here and the port information this should be masked otherwise we cannot uh, successfully download the program from our computer to arduino board now i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to device manager and ports here there is no port available here but when i will connect arduino to computer i am starting the usb button and i am plug in the usb to the arduino board com port here you see here automatically com 6 is activated here so usually it will get uh, the driver automatically for windows 7 8 until 10 so if you have any problem so you will have to update the driver here from your arduino board to computer if you just refresh it it will ask you for the driver location and you will have to go to program files arduino drivers here you'll have to locate this folder and it will get it automatically so this much you'll have to do to update your drivers okay now i am going to create now i'm going to create a program in arduino if you open the arduino id and go to basic example basics and blink program so you'll get this example program so here we have something like pin mode within the setup void setup section it is something like the constructor in java that means object oriented programming and here is another section called void loop this loop will repeat continuously and here the program that we will write that will be executed once and here the program will be repeated now i am explaining a bit here led built in pin is indicated pin number 13 and here we are writing the digital write high and here we are declaring output pin here this pin we are declaring output and here we are writing uh, the pin number and the high this high means we are making the output as a five fold status and we are giving some delay and then we are making the output as a low that means zero volt high means five volt and low means logically zero volt state and then we are giving some delay and this loop will repeat and this loop will repeat if i download this program so we, i can press this button and before that i can verify the program by clicking the verify here so you are uh, noticing that the program is verifying if everything goes well there will be no error message and you will get this message like done compiling and if i connect the board here is our project for blinking led here is a register of 220 ohm one led one nine volt battery and battery connector uh, some jumpers one breadboard and arduino uno r3 board and USB connector.
now i am going to set up the circuit i am putting the led onto the board and i am putting the 220 ohm register with the anode of led and i am going to connect the 13 pin of arduino uno with this register and i am connecting from the another part of led to the ground of arduino uno board and i am giving the power supply and it is working as we downloaded the program into arduino uno board so led is blinking as per our program so i am going to disconnect the usb from the arduino uno board and i am going to connect the 9 volt battery and i am connecting this battery to my arduino uno board and with this 9 volt dc supply the led is blinking as before so it is working nicely so we can power by usb connector as well as DC power jack and board is working properly in both the case and we have another V in power supply that we can give the power to the Arduino board. I hope the tutorial was informative for you. Thank you for watching.